Hello and welcome to the 145 Rural Podcast, where we are here to strengthen music careers and communities one song at a time. And now here's your host, Jacob Wing. Yeah. Hey everybody and welcome to today's episode. Today we're doing a gear review so we're going to get right into it. And today's gear review on, is on a cable from Rattlesnake Cables, which I've talked about pretty fervently on this show. And today we're just going to start with a little disclaimer, letting you know that this product was never given or any discounts, nothing like that. Paid for at full price out of my own pocket. Uh, make sure to go through the studio and not the 145 Rural to make sure that everything was separate and everything was done so that the integrity of this review is kept in check. We've had Hank from Rattlesnake Cables on the show before, and we love his products, but we want we don't want anything tainted. We want you to know this is from the heart, and we want to make sure that you know this is exactly what we think is what you're going to get. So with the review today, we are talking about this puppy right here, the Snakehead guitar cable. And with this one, we did the straight tip and then the angle tip on the side for the instrument. So the first thing to get right into is to talk about something you've probably never heard of, which is what they call a snakehead cable. And what this is, is a cable that has a little bit of this protective layer without the weaving around it. And that extends for about a foot or so. And the purpose of this is for any of the guitars or any of you players out there that put that cable right between your guitar and your strap and it rubs right in there, those kind of things can cause damage to your guitar. Especially that I love, I love the weaving on this and anything that they make with their cables. But it is a little bit rough and fine. So maybe it's just one of those things that if you can go out of your way to get around it, it can make that much more of a difference. So on the screen now, I'm going to put up exactly what they've described as who is this for? So it shows right on the screen them describing exactly what it is right here. And again, just the, the extra shielding there. It's, it's more cosmetic and, and a little bit of functionality there. And then it goes into who it's for. And the only thing that you want to consider when you're doing this is that anything that you order through, through them or from anybody else, you'd only buy one of these if it's going directly into the instrument because it's, it's just concerning that one connection. Anything else you would buy, you'd make sure that it was, like if you're going to go from your pedal board to your amp, no need for anything like that. You just want to get a regular uh, with all the weaving, no snake head. And the reason for that is just it protects the cable a little bit more, you know, especially if it's on the ground or it's being stepped on or stepped over, anything like that. That's the, the main reason you want to do that. But it seems like such a little thing. But the big seller here is that they took the time to consider how that works and what the functionality is. And let's go now. Okay, so for this going to demonstrate exactly how that works and why it's so great. So we're just taking that in there. It's called the snake head. It has that protective coating on it with none of the weaving. Bring it on through. And then, boom. Nice and clean. Let's see where it kind of when you're playing, how it can rub in there and kind of hit that finish on the edge. That's why that's such a big deal. Seems like a little thing. And of course, we'll talk a bit about the tips after this, but getting that nice angled tip to where you can just pull that through while you're playing, just cuts across right there. Oh, that looks so good. I love that. Let's look at a strat. All right, so same thing with the Strat here. Everybody can meet Big Jules. She is my precious. And this is the one I really wanted to protect. 
If you're like most of us, you do the through technique between the guitar and the strap. And there you have it. Some people don't like that. Like I said, we'll talk about it again on the tips here, but that angled look through, I absolutely love it. I think it's fantastic. But again, if you don't like that, just get yourself a normal one, the two straight eight, straight tips. Get your traditional look. It's fantastic, but then again, that, that weaving, whatever cable you're using, right now it's, it's just pinned between the two when I'm moving around. It's just those little things, but it can really add up, could really cause some damage over time. So that's why I think getting that snake head is such a huge thing and why I hope it becomes a bigger thing with other cable companies. But until then, this is the route to go. Okay, so now that we've talked about how it looks and the functionality of using your guitar with it, I wanna go over the tips here. And the best thing about ordering custom from Rattlesnake Cables is that you can choose the tips on these things here and you get the straight or the angled and any combination in between. So with this exact one, I've had a couple different cables that all had the straight on them. And this is the first one where I actually went and got an angled. And I'm gonna demonstrate exactly what difference that makes on the guitar and why you might consider doing an angled. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so here is the angled tip going into a Strat style guitar. And the thing about that is that you're gonna hit that side there and get that angle. Some people don't like that, some people do. I actually prefer it. But just a kind of heads up of what that would look like going into a strap with the tips there. If you don't like that, you can always just get a regular straight tip. Do it how you prefer. That's the normal way with that one. The next one we'll talk about, of course, this is a 335 guitar, semi-hollow. Take a look at that. And with these, this is the reason that you would consider getting an angled tip. If you do the straight tip on one of these, it works. It's fine. But look how far that thing sticks out. Look how high that is. And when you're playing on stage, when you're doing a performance, that's, that's pretty easy to get in the way. But with the, if you do an angled tip on these, especially with a snake head, you just slip it through. You got that nice flat look so so much better fantastic so now that you've seen the tips and you made your choice let's talk about the pros and cons of a cable like this and, and see if we would recommend it going forward hi there and welcome to the ad break we're just going to take a moment to let everybody know about our community of growing members. And if you'd like to be a part of that, just look at the info below and there will be a click there for an email sign up. Join in and get your voice heard. As well as if you're enjoying this content, please join our Patreon at patreon.com slash the numbers 145 world. There you can join any of our groups and you can add to the discussion of what topics we will choose that will help you and hopefully future members of our groups, as well as join monthly Q&As and other such benefits. Again, that's patreon.com slash the numbers 145 rural, and we look forward to seeing you there. Now, back to that regularly scheduled episode and enjoy that content. Thanks again. So to start with the pros, the first thing, of course, is that it's a top-notch build. We know it comes from a great company. We know that they put their heart and soul into everything they do. So just that in itself is something you don't have to worry about. No matter what dollar amount you're putting into it, the investment's going to pay for itself no matter what. And the other thing that, of course, I wish I had told my older self and known about this is that they, just like a lot of companies, offer that lifetime warranty with the cable. And just because of that, there's no reason to keep buying and recycling and going through, you know, useless $5 Amazon cables that really don't do the job and, and break down over time. And it's just a, it's just a roulette wheel of waiting till that thing craps out. So another great reason. Another reason that I absolutely love this, another pro, 
is that the communication from the company is just fantastic. And on screen, I'm going to share what happens when you order this. So you go on there and you create an account. And then on the screen, you're seeing the emails right now of the communications I got of them instantly telling me they got the order. And then there's another communication saying, hey, we're starting your build. So just so you know, it's it's beginning. And then after that, they give you another one telling you right when that order shipped with the tracking information. I know it seems like we're, we're so inundated when we buy things that instantly we get these, these emails, these confirmations, but the, it, there's a little personal touch to this that really gives you that I bought something with meaning and they're actually caring about the order I just put in that you just don't get from other companies. And oh, oh, it is such a game changer. I love it. I love it, love, love it. Next thing that is a pro for me, of course, is the beginning part where you saw the, the unboxing and the way that they box things really makes it feel like a gift. Now, I'm a little biased. The first one I ever received from this company, my wife bought me for Christmas. And so it was really like, I'm getting a present here. And every time I've opened one uh, subsequently, it, it's just been the exact same way. I absolutely love it. And it's like Christmas every single day, especially when you see that canvas bag and you know there's a, a great cable in there. Uh, it's fantastic. I'll share a little B-roll right now of behind me where I keep my guitar cabs for recording and they're always ready to go. But just above that, I kept my first canvas just because it meant that much to me and I absolutely love it. Um, another thing to go over here is the color choices that they give you are just fantastic. There, there's always a set number of colors that you can go through. And this is one I'd been looking at for years, just never did. The first one my wife got me was the tangerine or the orange because I had some orange amps and she wanted them to match because she thinks like a smarter person than I am. But I always wanted one of these rattlesnake ones, but then they also have like special weaves during seasonal ones. I know there was like an oxblood one that they kind of come back and forth, midnight purple. They have all these other colors that rotate in and out and always make me want to jump in and grab some of them. So always a good reason to follow them on Instagram or, you know, any of their socials to see what that next one's coming out. The other thing I really, really like, another pro here is that weaving. And it's hard to describe, but it's like a polyurethane kind of strong, strong. There's no way you're cutting through this. There's no way you're getting through it. There's no way you're going to break it, moving it back and forth. You just know that this thing is quality and it's, it's always going to be taken care of. And that moves into the next pro that I love to talk about is the peace of mind. And it kind of ties into that first one. We're talking about the lifetime warranty and, and the things that I'd wish I'd known with my older self and my younger musician days is that the peace of mind that just buying a top end cable really gives you to not worry if that's the time it's going to crap out to you. Even when you go into the troubleshooting as you're, as you're a musician by yourself, a DIY musician or an engineer, you start to build these these steps you go through when like you're troubleshooting, when something goes wrong, something scratchy, something doesn't sound right. And you'd always start with the source of the instrument, then onto the cables. And it's one of those things I haven't thought about until very recently that I've been spoiled rotten, not thinking about, hey, is it the cables? Is the cables a problem? Is that where my issue is? There is there a solder loose? Is there something wrong? I haven't had to think of that for years. And I really appreciate that. Um, so those are most of the uh, pros that I, I'm pretty happy about. Uh, if we needed to talk about some cons, uh, and after doing a little bit of work and think about it, and I really had to think about it, um, the price point is one of them. It's not that it's overly expensive. It's pretty much on par with a top-notch cable. It's just, if you are getting your very first one and you're going from, like I said, those five, $10 cheap, Amazon ones are the ones you've just been given or that came with the guitar. It's a bit of a shock to go from, you know, five, ten dollars to and this one here, I believe, was about sixty eight dollars because I did the special angled one. And of course, the snake hit on that. But those kind of things that they can shock you. But if you start to think of it, like I said, more of as an investment, it's going to pay for yourself, pay for itself, just in the peace of mind and being sure that it's always going to be there, always ready. Every gig, every show, every performance in every single time, it's going to be ready. And just the amount of times I probably, at, you know, go through a turnover of cables before I started buying better cables. Every two to three years, I was replacing everything. So just in that, it, it pays for itself. The only other con I can think of myself here is 
I'm going to share a photo on, on the front here. And it is so, it's so petty. And I know that. But there's this nice uh, logo right on the uh, heat shrink here. This little shielding here that goes onto the angle and onto the tip. And over year, over the years, that can wear off. And that is not the fault of the company. It's not the fault of anything. I just really like it. And when it goes, it goes. And the one that I showed on screen there is just from a session. The first time I ever met one of their cables in the wild uh, showed up and they said they'd had it for years. And I, I was just like, oh my goodness. And it was rubbing off a bit. And then I've had one, I think that also was doing the same thing, but it's not something that it's not, the, like I said, not the company's fault. It's just, uh, I really like it. Don't, don't like things rubbing off on my, my, my precious, my precious baby. So that's pretty much it, the pros and cons. Besides that, let's get down to the, would we recommend this? Um, clearly it's a yes. Uh, if, you, if you ever are going to upgrade to a top-notch cable and you, you really want the audio difference, the audio quality difference, and you want the assured reliability of that, yes, 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 yes. I get it if you're not at that stage in your career, it's just not something you're thinking about. But again, if you have watched any, and I'll link a couple of our older videos right here that will tell you, you know, if you go through what makes the difference in the sound, cables are pretty high up in that priority list of, of what makes a difference. So you should probably make the investment. Yes, we'd over the top recommend this and, and go, out, go out and get yourself one. They really are fantastic. So that's all we have for this week. Like I said, if you saw the intro, we'll have some other reviews coming up. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, we got a Patreon with a lot of free stuff on it. Please go take a look at it. There's no email, no sign up, no nothing. Just go use it. There's a free checklist to help you out. And until next week, can't wait to see you then. Bye.